Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you a streamer pattern this week. I haven't done a streamer in a couple weeks, so I thought I'd share one with you. And it's a new one to me, one I've been experimenting with, and uh, I really like it. It's uh, actually a twist on a saltwater pattern, but I'm gonna t I'll am gonna show you a picture of the saltwater fly first before I tie it, and then I'm gonna show you the way I'm tying it for trout, and it's working great. So, uh, really easy, it's called the Easy Body Minnow, and I'm using Easy Body Tubing. Uh, nice stuff, easy to work with, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it after the video. Here you're gonna see a picture of the fly, and then the material list to tie it. Okay guys, here you see this in the saltwater version, tied on a saltwater hook, a little bit bigger. This is actually the medium sized tubing. I'm gonna tie it on smaller, and I'm gonna tie this down in a trout size here, and tie it in a black nose dace pattern. So really cool, um, really good looking fly. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm gonna tie this on a Gamagatsu. This is a B10S Stinger in a size six, and we're just gonna stick that in our vise there. For thread, we're gonna start out with some white 140 denier thread, and we're gonna tie that right in behind the eye. Now, first thing we're gonna put on is some craft fur. And I'm gonna start out with some cream craft fur. Gonna cut a chunk of it off, and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pull all the fluff out of it. And then what I like to do is pinch the ends, get the long tips in there, separate them out, and then Put the tips back in so I line them all up instead of hair stacking because you can't really hair stack this. That's the way I hair stack in essence craft fur. And you can see there I got longer ends. So next we're gonna get this to length. I want this to be about the same length as the hook shank off the back. So I'm gonna just measure it up, sit it where I think it needs to go, and then I'm gonna cut the tips off. Cut all those tips off. We're gonna lay it right on top of that hook and tie it right in behind that eye. Now, I've been tying a bunch of these, so I have some already pre-cut out, ready to go in my other colors. If I'm doing a bunch at one time, I'm just gonna get these all ready to go in the length I want them, lay them down on a board and it helps me do. Next, we're gonna put the stripe down the middle. The black nose, black nose dace has a stripe running right down through the middle, so and get that to the length. I need that in just a hair shorter. So trim them off, set it on top again. Tie it down right behind that eye again. There's our stripe down the middle and now we come in with our top color. And for the top we're using a brown. So we're just laying that on top. And again, we're a little bit long. So we'll trim off. And then set this on top and tie that in. Okay. So there we got the color of our body. We, you got your bl black stripe down the middle going. Now I'm going to put a little bit of flash on this. This is actually three strands. I wet it down. There's three strands of pearl flashaboo here. I'm going to lay it on the side closest to me first. And tie it down on the side closest to me away from you guys, tie that down, and then I'm gonna wrap it around the side and come in on the other side and tie it down. And I want this to go the same length as my body there, just trim that off. And then I'm gonna look, make sure, I want that to go right down the black stripe. There you see I'm off a little bit on this side, so just gonna pull them fibers up a little bit, get it in the middle where I want it. There you can see. And now we're gonna put the body on this. So I'm gonna tie this off now so I can put the tubing on on top. So we we'll just do a whip finish. And then we come in with our easy body tubing. So keep that thread, we're gonna use it here in a second, but for 
this body, we're using this easy body tubing, and I want it to go the length just past the hook right there to like the bend of the hook. And that's where I'm gonna cut the length to. Cut it maybe just a hair long because we're gonna take and we're gonna singe the back the, the back side of this. So I'm just gonna hit it with a lighter, wet my finger real quick and press that down. And that's gonna secure all those, keep them from fraying in the back there. Now, on the bottom side, I'm gonna take and cut just a little slit. You won't be able to see it here. Gonna cut about a quarter inch slit in the bottom. By doing that, it's gonna allow me to slide this on and the hook, you can see there, the hook goes through, the hook goes through the tubing, just like I want it. Now, I want this to go right about there. I want the length of my tubing, I'm actually gonna shorten this up a little bit. Shorten that a little bit. I like that length just a little bit better. And now we're gonna tie this down on that hook. So I'm just gonna make a couple soft wraps and then I'm gonna wrap that thread into place. Just lock it there and pull tight. Then I'm gonna come in, I'll cut my tag off just to get it out of the way. Then I'm gonna wrap and make a head with this and try to wrap all those fibers down. Don't crowd that eye. There we go. And then once I get that wrapped off nice, I'm just gonna whip finish it off. Now you could come in with a marker and put a little bit of black on top if you want, or brown on top, just to match the rest of the body, but it's not gonna make that much of a difference. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the eye on this. Oh, and I wanna make sure I get all my fibers inside that tubing of the body there. Now we're gonna put some eyes on. For eyes, I'm using on this size, on this small tubing, I'm using three millimeter living eyes. So just gonna take some, this is thick solar res. Put a little dot on the side. Put my eye on. Make sure it's where I like it there. You can see right on the side. And then we're gonna hit it with our light to lock it in place. And we'll put one on the other side. Just a little dab. You can use super glue here if you want. But since I'm going to be using this thick for the rest of the body, I just keep going with it. Push that eye into place again. Get it where I want it. I want it to line up with the eye on the other side. Just make it nice and neat looking. There we go. Hit that with the light to lock it. Now we're gonna cover this whole tubing body with this flex, or with this, uh, this is thick, but you can use multi-viscosity, you can use whichever one you like, thin. But what you wanna do is put enough on here, I'm gonna rub it in, kinda push it into that material, the tubing, so it's gonna harden it up. Get some on the head, get it over top of those eyes so the eyes don't come off. And you gotta make like a little collar here because when you tie that off, it usually makes a little divot right there behind the eye. So then I just take my bodkin here and just smooth it out. Make sure I got it completely covered. Like There's a spot that's a little bit light. I'm gonna add a little bit more right in here. Just making it nice and smooth. Using my rotary vise to my advantage here to help me smooth this out. Like I said, right behind those eyes, there's always a little trough there that you kind of have to fill in. And then once we get it all covered up where we like it, a couple twists there just to smooth it out. And then we hit it with our light. Get it nice and solid and we're done. And there you have a black nose dace. Nice little black nose dace minnow that's gonna go through the water nice and quick. You're gonna have to put a little bit of weight in front of a little split shot or two in front, but this pattern is gonna swing nice for you. 
Okay guys, I hope you like that pattern. Really cool and really simple with a little bit of work. You know, if you're new to tie-in, it might take a little bit to, to work with the um, craft fur and stuff like that. Make sure you get all the fluff pulled out of it. You don't want it to be too bulky, but it's a nice stuff to work with. And you know, you can pick the stuff up at the shop or you can pick it up at Hobby Lobby or whatever, wherever so you can, you know, you go to Hobby Lobby, you can find all kinds of crazy colors and experiment with different colors. I like, we have a lot of black nose dace in our area. So I wanted a black nose dace pattern and I wanted something small. That's why we went with the small tubing and the easy body tubing here stuff. This is really nice to work with and um, it, it works great. So we're carrying it in the shop now. Give it a try, mess around and experiment with different patterns. See how you like to tie it. Uh, you can, I've even seen nymphs tied with it, using it, the body for the uh, thorax, for the abdomen of the nymph. Uh, I might try it out, I might not, I'm not sure, but for stoneflies, uh, but anyways guys, real cool stuff to work with, makes a cool looking pattern, and you can tie it in a plethora of different colors. Here you see a picture of different colors that I've tied these guys in. Uh, you know, I'm having some bigger ones tied up for bass, some smaller ones for trout. I'm using the medium size for bass, the small for trout, and if you're a saltwater guy, I don't share many saltwater patterns because I don't live anywhere near the salt. You know, take it out and throw it in the surf. It's going to work in the surf. Tie it on a saltwater hook, though, so it lasts a little bit longer. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really enjoy bringing these to you. If you need any of the material to tie it, like this easy body tubing, you can find it all at our website at wholesingerslyshop.com. So thanks for watching. Want me to tie anything? Reach out to me at wholesingerslyshop at gmail.com. But until next week, when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.